Hello and welcome back to Star Control. Hardcore challenge. It's going really well so far. Um, we've just done a bit of mining, but now we need to start getting this quasi space um, stuff going uh, properly. Of course, we've already been in quasi space, but we haven't got the uh, warp pod. Um, we haven't visited the Aralu homeworld, so of course, um, to get this whole thing started, we need to go and get the warp pod from Alpha Pavonis, um, the, uh, from the Dreadnought, uh, and so. Yeah, we gotta be a little bit careful, obviously, because the surface of Alpha Pavonis is a, uh, Alpha Pavonis Seven is a little bit um, dangerous, very hot, um, because it's a very hot star. Um, but that should be fine, really, um, because we just gonna go down there, get the warp pod, escape, and then oh, a Slylandra probe. Brilliant. Well, actually, no, it is not too bad because, of course, we have the. Uh, we come in peace. We have the self-destruct sequence. Destruction circuitry. Ah, brilliant. Completely forgot about that. Um, so yeah, so there goes the Slylandra. So yeah, we need to go uh, get the warp pod. And once we've done that, we're going to go and find the arrow loop. Uh, because it's pretty crucial that we get uh, quasi-space travel up and running. Uh, because then we can um, travel around a lot quicker. Um, we can cut the travel time by a huge amount, and it make sure that we definitely, uh, make sure we definitely don't um, we come in peace. have the Korra start their death march, which is sort of the most important thing. Um, we don't want time to run out uh, because that's sort of one of the things I'm a bit scared about right now. Even though we seem to have not really used up much time so far, um, if we didn't get quasi space, I can imagine it taking s so much longer, and we'd also have to spend a lot more credits on fuel as well. Because of course in quasi space you don't even have to use any fuel, which is awesome. Um, I can imagine that going to the quasi space homeworld, the Farley Arafali, will take absolutely ages though. Um, so I might skip that since it will take forever. Um, yeah, I can imagine pretty much traveling across the same distance as the hyperspace star map in a ship that has no upgrades would be pretty painful. You don't come in peace, you uh, come to destroy our ship. But we we beat you to it with our special code. So yeah, um, pretty simple plan. Um, it's a little bit annoying that this episode has gone out a little bit later than I would have liked. Um, school term started again, um, so there's a lot less time for me anyway to actually get these videos out. Um, I've got a lot of work to do and um, a lot of a lot of more work on top of just the curriculum stuff, so I'm just, just decided to do. So Videos may come out a little less frequently, but that doesn't mean that they won't stop coming out at all. Because at the end of the day, it only takes us, you know, 20 minutes to record of it an episode, and then maybe as much as the Uncle Masters episodes are a little bit different. Um, but say, an, uh, like a Feed the Beast video, it takes maybe 20 20 minutes to play an episode. Normally, we play in like an hour ch an hour chunk, and we get a couple, maybe a few episodes out of that. And then I'll just it takes maybe no longer than 15 minutes to edit. So maybe just half an hour per video, so it's not too bad. Um, ooh, looks like we landed perfectly on it, that was awesome, really good. Uh, looks like we landed perfectly on the warp pod, crashed uh, Dreadnought, look at it. Um, it's pretty small actually, considering our lander is, uh, the, the sizes in this game are a little bit off, but no worries. Um, so yeah, most of the Dreadnought's intact, uh, no, no, most of the Dreadnought is just so much alien junk, I, I read that completely wrong. Um, it looks like crash. Okay, found one piece of equipment that is intact. Okay, so otherwise the whole ship was completely destroyed. So I completely lied there. But there we go. End of report. And um, and there we are. Um, another thing actually that now that I just heard the um, I heard the uh, the sound of the uh, text coming across the screen there. So I've just remembered something else is that um, sometimes when I record, I don't know whether it's Fraps or Movie Maker that does this, but I, I'm gonna guess it's Fraps because um, sometimes it's very difficult to sort of notice with um, Feed the Beast and Minecraft because the sounds in that are not so important really. Um, while in uh, while in Oculus is very obvious, uh, the sound sometimes goes a bit out of sync, and it's quite obvious when I'm in the conversations with other races when I'm making my choices and the sort of beeps for me choosing different options are a little bit slow or too quick. So. Hopefully that's fixed now. What I've done is I've basically um, oh, here's another slide on to destroy. Basically, what I've done is I've uh, got the whole I split the video into its uh, like 
audio component and its video component. So now I just have to slide the audio component a little bit further uh, forwards or backwards just to make it um, in sync. So hopefully there's no out of sync uh, terribleness going on too much now. Um, so yeah. Uh, here we are at beta performance because uh, there is a nice planet to mine here, a lot of biodata, um, or a nice planet to um, commit mass murder. Uh, this planet over here, planet 5, and this moon here is really good for uh, mining on, uh, not for mining on, for collecting biodata. Uh, so that's good, we, we'll, we'll pick it up since we're close. Uh, looks like a dust world, yes. Okay, class 4 weather, shouldn't be too bad, is it class 4 weather or is it... Class 4 tectonics, okay, that's fine. I'm, I'm fine with the tectonics, really. I mean, that's not too hard. Uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of these um, weird one eyed monsters traveling around. Good for biodata, pretty much. These are the best ones. You know, whenever you find uh, planets with loads of these on, you know it's going to be a good planet to collect a huge amount of biodata on. Um, because it's just. They're just, they're just so much biodata. Each one of those is 30 biodata. Um. Which is the equivalent of, well, equivalent to 600 credits. So each time you kill one of these things, you get 600 credits effectively, in terms of fuel, um, because fuel unit is is 20, uh, R, uh, a 20. Um, I need to say RF there from Feed the Beast. Uh, 20 RU, um, and each biolator is effectively 40 RU, because. Uh, you get two fuel per biolator because for every biolator you hand in, you get um, two credits out. Um, and it's interesting when uh, you talk to the Slalandra because I didn't really consider it um, when I first talked to them, but I completely forgot to say it that um, the Slalandro, um, when they were trading with the Melnorme, uh, were using Greedots, I think they were called, and were using credits. So they're actually sort of just making up their own currency as they go along, just to make it easier for them to sort of. I guess in some ways they would be able to. Um, maybe make the deals better on their side for their side. I don't know, but it's funny how they just sort of make up these own these little these little credit things, rather than just having a universal um, currency. Um, it's pretty funny actually. Uh, but yeah, now that we've got the warp pod, we're going to make our way towards Aralu space. Um, I don't know what it's the 17th right now, so we're going to have to wait a month. Hopefully, I can get there on time actually, because it does take a while to travel through hyperspace in this game. I should be able to make it definitely before um, the portal opens. So we'll just see what happens. Uh, now hopefully I think the um, glitch where... I think there used to be a glitch with the Quasi portal where if you travelled through it just as it was closing um, something happened. I don't know exactly what happened. If someone in the comments knows what happened um, then, then then do plo do post because I, I really can't remember. I think I think if you go through the Quasi portal just as it's closing you sort of just go to a, a, a star, I think. You just go to some star in hyperspace. I'm not really sure how it works, but it's pretty it's pretty strange. But I think they fixed it now, or at least they fixed it in the HD version. I'm not really sure where it was fixed. There was also that horrible bug with the Slylandra where they would, um, whenever you asked for their coordinates, they would um, it would crash the game. That was that was pretty interesting. That was a really horrible crash that happened. It completely froze up the game. I can remember it. It was horrible. It was the one time the game crashed, actually. I don't think the game crashed at any other point. Which is interesting, um, because, you know, it's it's interesting to know how these little these little things in the code can just break the game horribly. It really did crash horribly. Like It just closed down the whole thing and broke, broke the game. Um, so I was pretty lucky that the crash didn't get corrupted as well. Because sometimes these sort of things where the game doesn't know really what's happening and it just uh, closes down, sometimes you just lose the save. But luckily, it was fine. I think I'd save just before the encounter as well, which is good. We come in peace. Is it the Slylandro? Another one down. We've got so many RUs now from these Slylandro. It's really, really good. Um, we've nearly got 20,000 RU, which would suit us pretty well if we wanted to upgrade it. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. Uh, now another thing that uh, I completely forgot about until um, I, I just completely forgot about is that uh, someone said in the comments, I can't remember exactly who, sorry about that, but um, they said uh, that if you go back to the Slylandra homeworld, you will, um, if you go back to the Slylandra homeworld, you'll completely remove the probes altogether. Unfortunately, um, I had no clue of this when I was recording this little section, um, but 
Uh, I will definitely go there when I when I when I have the chance, or at least when it's sort of we come in peace. Uh, sort of there's a, uh, when when I have the chance, or when there's a reason to be going up to that top left corner of the map. Um, probably probably at the point I am in the game now, not really much use since the probes are very few and far between. I mean, I've I mean there's quite a lot more to this recorded section um, still to go. So I, I say they're very few and far between than two just appear. Um, to my south and west. Oh, wait, let's, let's make that three. <laughs> oh my god, just so many probes. So many probes. We've already used so much fuel in this journey. We've already used 43 fuel. Oh, wait, no, it's an arrow loop. Okay, let's talk ah, to these guys. Our human friend, please let us chat a while. It has been so many years since I last visited your Earth. So long since I glided across your open fields under the light of a full moon. Okay, uh, well, sure, sure thing. Okay, great. Um, that was that was pointless. Um, the Aralu really don't have much to say, do they? Really, they don't have anything too useful to really tell us about. Uh, I probably yeah, probably approve this. Yeah. We come, um, we come in peace. Yeah, the tree. There we are. Down they go. Again, they they just don't understand. As I, I say time and time again, you know, why don't they just? Oh, this might not be a probe. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Let's see. Yeah, it did seem a bit slower. Hello, my clever child. And another arrow. We have met again, and I am pleased. Well, that's great and all, but Farewell, I mean, child. I don't care. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I don't care. I want to just get to your home world, get the warp pod, and just not really talk to you ever again. It's as simple as that. Um, this could be a probe. Might not be. I don't know. Some of them, uh, you can tell when it's the arrow because they go a little bit slow. Yeah, there we go again. Last night as you slept, I touched your face and you smiled. That is both really strange and also too non-important for me to even bother listening to. So, it's not a good combination when when I've got stuff to do, really. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not good. So, we've got to wait around for a couple of minutes, maybe... A minute or two, yeah, so just wait while these I think that's Aralu probably. Yeah, just wait while these Aralu and Slylandra just bombard us with useless um Did you uh, this meeting, time on the bridge. Or did we? You can imagine Captain uh, Zelnik just sort of Farewell, walking up and down the child. stairs to the bridge, just going, Come on guys, stop wasting my time. Maybe he doesn't even go up to the bridge at this point. Maybe he just okay, that's definitely a probe. Um maybe maybe he just sits at the desk and just sort of goes beep. Not talking to you. Not talking to you. He just, he just can't even be bothered anymore. Maybe he just has an elevator straight up to the bridge. Maybe his chair just rises up to the bridge. Um, that would be that'd be really useful. Pro that'd be really really good at this, you know, in this situation. But I mean, it's just. I mean, I wonder. I wonder actually how they must have modified the precursor vessels. Of course, the precursors being as big as they were would have had huge I think they did talk about the levers being huge and everything being massive so they must have made some modifications to the sort of uh, crew uh, crew uh, bays and uh, the and the sort of, the sort of general uh, layout of the whole ship um, it also makes you wonder how many crew the precursor because of course the precursors were a lot small uh, the precursor were a lot bigger so I wonder how many crew how many crew they could have picked for uh, pick, picked for per blah, blah, blah. I wonder how many crew they could have had per um, per module was obviously going to be a lot smaller. Um, so you know, in a in a melee, super melee battle, they would have had a lot less crew to spare. So yeah, it would have been really bad.